sad news coming out of Bobcat land on Black Friday. The Cats lost their third straight game today at the hands of the MAC East champion Kent State Golden Flashes 28-6. Things went south for the green and white from the start. On the first possession of the game, Ohio's Bo Blankenship coughed up the ball, only to be recovered by Kent State's Luke Wallet, who would scoop and score for a 50-yard touchdown and a 7-0 lead less than two minutes into the game. Things didn't get better after a Cats three and out. The Golden Flashes strung together a three-play, 60-yard drive, highlighted by a Spencer Keith pass to Eric Adeyemi for 44 yards into Bobcat territory. Two plays later, Trayon Durham muscled his way into the end zone from 15 yards out for the 14-0 lead. And more bad news for Ohio fans would await on the ensuing possession. Tyler Tettleton dropped back on first down, only to be picked off by C.J. Malalu. Malalu wouldn't be denied, returning the interception 33 yards for Kent State's second defensive touchdown of the game. Kent State has intercepted 22 passes this season, which ranks them first in the Mid-American Conference for interceptions. Ohio finally got some offensive momentum flowing, marching 64 yards down the field on the shoulders of Bo Blankenship and his 55 yards on the ground. But the drive stalled and the Cats would settle for a Matt Weller 33-yard field goal, decreasing the deficit to 21-3. From there, Ohio's defense prevented Kent State from putting any more points on the board. Unfortunately, Ohio's offense couldn't match their rhythm. The green and white only managed a second Matt Weller field goal with 15 seconds left in the half to make the score 21-6 at the break. The third quarter ended up scoreless as both defenses stood firm. Ohio's defense held Kent State's top rusher, Dree Archer, to just 53 yards rushing, well below his average of 116 yards a game but Ohio's offense couldn't match the defense's intensity. Ohio was shut out in the fourth quarter, including a turnover on downs at Kent State's 12-yard line, then another failed fourth down conversion attempt at Kent State's 15-yard line. The Golden Flashes put insurance points on the board when Spencer Keith found Eric Adeyemi for 24 yards early in the fourth quarter. That put Kent State up 28-6, and that served as the final score. The last time Ohio failed to score a touchdown, Oddly enough, was against Kent State back in 2010 when the Bobcats lost to the Golden Flashes by the same 28-6 score. The only bright spot for Ohio was Bo Blankenship breaking Calvin McRae's single-season rushing record of 1,434 yards set in 2007. Blankenship rushed for 145 yards against Kent State, propelling his season total to 1,500 rushing yards but Blankenship was quick to point out that the feat was overshadowed by the devastating loss. You know, I just heard I'd, I got it, but, you know, that's way secondary to, to you know, winning, and, and this loss really hurts. So The struggles were extremely noticeable in the pass protection for Ohio, giving up eight sacks to Kent State's defense for a loss of 80 total yards. Ohio was dealing with injuries on the offensive line, losing starters Vince Carlotta, Ryan McGrath, and Eric Herman to injuries in the first half but injuries have been a part of Ohio's story all season long. Um, it's just unfortunate uh, that we had the, the kind of injuries we had this year, but sometimes those years come along. This one was a bit much. While fingers can easily be pointed at the offense, senior Corey Hastings made it clear Ohio could have done a lot more on defense to help win the game. Uh, I think it was more of a collection of things. You know, that first quarter was rough for us. Um, you know, turnovers and such, and, you know, I missed that tackle in the backfield for a touchdown, you know, things like that you just can't do against a great team and expect to win, you know, as, as well as the defense did play today, you know, we obviously didn't play well enough, you know, and um, we just got to come back and ready if we make a bowl game and try and do the best. Ohio's hopes of a bowl game are still alive, but the decision is out of the Bobcats' hands. Head coach Frank Solich said they'll just wait and see what happens. I'm not making a case, you know, um, uh, we're what we are, we've got eight wins, um, we, um, uh, our banged up uh, football team, but um, you know we'll go with with what the Bulls see and and how they feel, and um, and, and we'll we'll go from there. But I'm not making a case one way or the other. Once again, your final score on Black Friday: Kent State 28, Ohio 6, dropping the Bobcats to 8 and 4 on the year.